we were wrong. So, like, as you have all seen, Epic decides, oh, you know what? Let's get rid of all the cool old weapons, consumables, and even modes of transportation. And replace them with fishing rods. <laughs> We need to talk. So yes, I know I've been away for ages, but I've got my reasons and I will be telling you all you need to know towards the end of the video, but for now, I want to just once and for all tell you guys why this game is almost completely dead and why this has happened. So like, get comfortable because I want to take you all on a bit of a journey and show you all just how much this game has changed from the masterpiece it once was to the eventless sweat infested disaster it's turned into that ultimately has just one final chance for redemption. So please watch all the way through and let me know all your thoughts at the end in the comments afterwards because this is going to get wild. When Fortnite was first created, it introduced an unfamiliar, unique, new game mechanic that was never seen before in a genre of games that was still within its starting stages. Fortnite gave birth to the building system where players could instantly build structures that could be used as temporary cover or a means of getting from one spot to another with ease. A huge undiscovered island with multiple unique towns and areas combined with a fatal zone that forced players into combat created an incredible gaming experience that everyone could enjoy. And see, that's the thing, like, the game was fresh, new, exciting, and invigorating, but most of all, it was enjoyable. <laughs> yeah! Just before I keep going, I want to show you a short clip from way back in the first two seasons of Fortnite. And all I want you to do while you watch it is to let the memories and nostalgia take over and to remind yourself of what it felt like to truly play Fortnite at its best moments. Okay, so I have to just edit this thing below me. I yep. need to just reset that. Confirm. All right, I'm good there. Confirm. You have to think you're going to be landing directly on top of him. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. If I edit this block below me, he has to know. I will fall right on top of him. And I have to switch to my shotgun midair, try to strafe, and hit him in the head. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. I got it! I oh, got it! I got it! Oh my god! Oh my god! I bet a thousand bucks every single one of you can remember some point where you felt exactly like that guy. But unfortunately, the novelty and freshness of this game only lasted just a few seasons, as sad as it is to admit. Fortnite's popularity drastically increased in just a few short weeks with the constant influence of big names on Twitch and YouTube and rapidly people started getting really good at it. Fortnite started to become less of the classic default in distress, hiding in the woods and praying not to be seen while I held four common pistols and a single grenade. Hunters began to emerge, killers seeking out as much prey as they could, fueled by the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> Fights actually became challenging and skill was developing, but not to a point where it was unbearable. Season 4, the season of the superheroes and just after Dusty Depot had been blown to bits, as many of you would agree, was the epitome, the most enjoyable and unique experience Fortnite had to offer. Everybody had almost the same chance as everyone else, because being the sweatiest player in the world had not yet become an obsession for every 12 year old on the planet. Incredible live in-games are being witnessed, meme strats were amazing and effective, and all I can remember is simply having the time of my life. Unfortunately, however, that's where it all began to change. Suddenly, the infamous soccer skin emerged. Unprecedented following the arrival of John Wick in Season 3, Season 5 brought a new reign of terror to the island. See, unlike the Sucker Skin, John Wick might have been terrifying, but it was still fun. But the Sucker Skin, in all its toxic fury, made routine deaths and frustration common. You weren't so much scared when you saw one as you were simply angry. Each Sucker Skin made it their absolute bloody mission to kill you in the sweatiest edit filled 90 cranked way possible. And this was the turning point, like skill began to skyrocket and sadly the rest of us who simply wanted to enjoy the game for what it used to be were left in the dust behind. 
defaults began to suffer, memes started to decrease in number, and Fortnite itself had changed forever. forever. But this was only the beginning of the end. See, the next few seasons brought absolute chaos on the island as sweats rapidly increased in number because every single 11 year old and their cousin wanted to be the next ninja or mongrel or whatever. And then along came Creative, which didn't help this in the slightest. It was basically at this point around season 9 that fights were becoming boring and vanilla and repetitive. They would always end in the same way with some sweaty iconic skin or sucker skin or whatever it might be boxing me in editing windows and trapping me inside to face my inevitable doom. Yet, despite this, the first 10 seasons of Fortnite will still always be looked upon with happiness and fond memories in comparison to whatever train wreck you might want to call Chapter 2. Initially, we all thought, Yo, we get a new island, it's gonna be a whole new set of items and weapons and other epic mechanics to explore. So that was a f***ing lie. We were wrong. So, like, as you have all seen, Epic decides, oh, you know what? Let's get rid of all the cool old weapons, consumables, and even modes of transportation. And replace them with fishing rod. <laughs> Alright everyone, Season X is about to end and we need some ideas for new items to put in the game. Busy rods. AI bots. How about weekly updates? <laughs> this new map held such promise, a, a new direction following the tyranny of the mechs from Season X, but like, Epic suddenly stopped talking to us. Somehow just like forgot about the idea of patch notes and weekly updates, no new items or weapons were added, the locations didn't, and still haven't changed. Players overly abused creative mode to practice unreal builds and edits, and just things that humble rust lords like myself simply can't handle. And so Fortnite became stale and boring. You couldn't enjoy it anymore. So week after week, set of challenges after set of challenge, which mind you are still freaking coming, content creators have basically run dry. Nothing new meant nothing new for us to work with. See, like my being a drop bear in Fortnite video, which is straight fire by the way, you should go watch. T top right corner, right there. Just click it. This was me basically scraping the bottom of the barrel for some kind of unseen new content. But still the sweats and streamers persisted and have now basically been the downfall of Fortnite completely. The simple fact that there's so much sweat and literally no outlet and other option for anyone else to do has just ruined Fortnite. You either sweat hard or just don't play unless you want to do death runs or bloody fashion shows for the rest of your life. But yeah, now we've got this whole new update to consider. A whole new engine change which is set to arrive on the 20th this month. Uh, I'm recording this on the day that for some odd reason they gave us back launch pads. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Um, and literally all I can say about this, if this new season, after having been anticipated for so bloody long, doesn't drastically change Fortnite in a way that provides everyone a means of enjoying the game consistently, while still feeling like Fortnite itself, then I think it's safe to officially say that Fortnite is dead. 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 <sighs> but yeah. The question I'm sure you have all been waiting for, and I'm sure you have all been wondering intensely for the past few weeks, where the hell have I been? Well firstly, I was away for a few weeks over Christmas, uh, but to be honest with you, the answer's simple. I've been left in the dust. See, when I first started playing Fortnite in Season 3, I would look forward to playing each day without fail. I looked forward to the discovery, to the new excitement added each week with the new weapons, items, areas and experiences that were always unique. Despite what you might say about Season X, or those previous seasons, it was at least dynamic, changing and interesting. New content was still coming regularly. Like, like check this out, right? Here's a list of all the major updates throughout Fortnite's life. Each month had on average about four to five updates that added or changed something significant within the game. Like, look at June and July from 2018 for example. In the space of just two months, we had around 10, 10 new items and game modes and areas introduced. Then we look at the period of chapter two. From about early October to now, we've had a grand total of five what they call major updates. Like, pff, added battle lab. Well done, Epic. You really, you really pleased us with that one. Oh, and uh, side grading? Yeah, uh, newsflash. Literally no one asked for that. Th th this brings me to my last point. 
which I wanted to quickly talk about with you guys. And that's what you guys would like to see in the future of this channel. Do you guys want me to keep going with Fortnite? Do you want me to move to a different game? Do more streaming? Try doing a single player focused game? Maybe less editing and more commentary? Uh, I have a handful of games in mind that I could move to including Rainbow Six Siege, For Honor, possibly a new game coming out soonish called Ghost of Tsushima, which is single player. But yeah, ultimately, I I'm here to make you guys laugh and happy watching my content, which is getting a lot harder to do considering the state of Fortnite. So it's up to you guys. So please, let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll go from there. But otherwise, as always, thank you so much for watching if you got this far. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been you want to know the Russell and Mr. Ra. Peace out, and God bless everyone.